Okay, this is my beginning collection of old radio programs that I started collecting. Just about all of these, except for the Hermit's Cave, are um, cassettes. And I'm missing, here's X minus 1 and X minus 1. Here's the Weird Circle, some old time classics that has a var variety. This may even have some non scary ones on it. The Creaking Door, which is the same as. Um, I, f I forget what the name. I'm drawing a having a senior moment here. Dark Fantasy, Quiet Please, which is an excellent. If you get a chance to listen to Quiet Please, you should. It has a intro music that goes something like dun 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 dun. dun. It's lovely, very good. And then I found things on albums: The Three Greatest Hours of Mystery, Madness, and Suspense. Murray Hill Radio um, with Boris Karloff, Bella Lugosi, Orson Welles, John Carradine, Agnes Moorhead. Some of these things are repeats. Some of the, I don't know, the suspense, I see Fugue in C minor, House on Cypress Corner. Um, here I see Death for Sale, Dracula Part 2, Dracula Part 1. Episode Frankenstein on Weird Circle, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and a Thirsty Death. Um, Lights Out Everybody, Arch Obler, another favorite of mine. Uh, <laughs> the Witch's Tale, which five, uh, four, five fingers and a thumb. Well, if you'll count, the artist got overly excited about this and gave this man six fingers. And on this side, Lights Out Murder Castle. The thing on the floor, the first quiet please I ever got, and I went hunting for more, um, coming from an oil state. This is kind of educational besides everything else. Then there's an extra on this. I don't know if you can read it. Peter Lorre in the Edgar Allan Poe's classic, The Cask of Mon Montiato. Um, this is an excellent story. Three Skeleton Key from Escape. It's excellent. Uh, Peter Lorre, Till Death Do Us Part. Bloodbath by Vincent Price. Vincent Price, one of my all favorite horror movie actors right there. Here's Agnes Moorhead. Uh, sorry, wrong number. Light Engine vs. the Ant with a picture on the album of Charlton Heston's in the movie. Don't think it's Charlton Heston reading the part here. It may say on the album, but I don't think it is. And this is something, uh, just a jewel. Suspense starring Frank Lovejoy. The Giant of Thermopylae, if you saw the movie, The 300, um, at one point they have this really particularly ugly Persian, big, huge. That's the Giant of Thermopylae because, of course, they were in the Therm Thermopylaean Pass, uh, fight, you know, we're holding them from keeping them in, getting into Greece. And uh, I'm, I'm in the process of outlining a script for... A, a series of scary things that happen on the fairgrounds. And one of the things that happen is a couple of kids run into, I'm going to just skype this plot here, and run into the giant of Thermopylae in a, in a fun house or in a horror, a scary ride. Here's the Humphrey Bogart with Lurleen Tuttles and Loves lovely counterfeit. I don't know if that's a whore or not, but I very quickly, when I started collecting these things, got away from everything except horror. And how I found the albums was by looking for these sound effects uh, albums. Uh, Ghost Stories, Alfred Hitchcock. Boy, if this is not Alfred Hitchcock telling these stories, it's something that sounds just like him. Sounds to make you shiver, shiver. Most of these are by Pickwick. Um, Haunted House. This is by Walt Disney. Boris Karloff uh, tells, uh, recites the tale of Sleepy Hollow, The Legend of Sleepy, Sleepy Hollow, and Rip Van Winkle. Um, this is spooky sound effects. Um, but that's, this is how Strange Doctor Weird. This is how I came in contact with um, 
radio on vinyl and then I have this on CD and I have it on vinyl someplace but I've done something with it. The War of the Worlds, the original with Orson Welles. I love that. But anyway, um, this is my beginner. All these are on cassettes except for the Hermit's Cave and I can't listen to them anymore so I'm glad I found old time radio. If I can ever afford it, I can replace some of them. Oh, I've got here, Dark Fantasy. Dark Fantasy was a locally produced in Oklahoma City here uh, radio program. Scary Tales of the Weird, The Thing from the Sea, The Demon Tree, Resolution 1841, The Headless Dead, um, Death as a Savage Deity, Sea Phantom, Phantom, A Delicate Case of Murder, The Man with a Scarlet Satchel. Superstition, Be Hanged, Pennsylvania Turnpike, The Thing from the Darkness, The Edge of the Shadow. Um, and I notice, you I notice you have a lot more than that. So, uh, again, these are all cassettes. I have nothing to play them on anymore. So, um, I just wanted to share that with in my story of what old radio programs meant to me. And I am, like I say, I wonder where my Dimension X went to. There's a Dimension X that I thought was... The, the precursor of X minus 1, or maybe it's vice versa. A Dimension X was a little bit more doom and gloom, where X minus 1 is like sarcasm, O. Henry ending, you know, stories and that kind of stuff. Anyway, this is long enough. This is almost six minutes. Holy cow. But anyway, um, I'm going to transfer this to YouTube and get this in with my my letter